Buenos Aires, the capital of Argentina, boasts the well-established metro and urban railway system. It connects all corners of the city and offers convenience to local residents with advanced metro cars and facilities. Our journey starts here, the city center. It is the square of May in the center of Buenos Aires. It is also the center of the metro system that links to the different parts of the city. And some metro cars running here are from China. I accompanied CRRC's Yang Lihang to a line where Chinese-built metro cars have been running for about a decade. Right now we are facing the Bolivar uh, station Line E. Subte Buenos Aires is the name of the system, metro system, okay. Peru. And the final station is San Pedrito. Please, after you. We have provided 30, 30 trains of metros to the Line A of the Buenos Aires city and the train we have signed a contract in the year 2009 and all the train has entered in operation uh, from 2013 so far it has been 10 years in operation and the performance is very stable it's a brand new experience the metro station has distinctive latin american features both passing on traditions and embracing the future and metro cars are familiar with what we see in China. They have every convenience for passengers who commute daily. And now you can see the in interior of the train. It's very illuminated with LED and you have the, the dynamic map to show you, you know, all the stations, uh, right? It's pretty much like we use in China. Yang says, He's proud these metro cars have been serving the city's residents for some 10 years. And he led me to one of the city's biggest railway stations with a very long history. This is station is called Retiro in Spanish. It's the central train station of the city of Buenos Aires. Yeah, as you can see, it's very antique and historical. Indeed, it was built in 1915. Here we are at the line of Mitri, Mitri line. Uh, for this line, uh, CRC has provided more than 700 cars. We call it EMU. More than 700 cars. Cars in yeah, this line. In, only in this line, yes. and it's starting with 2013. Mm. It's more than 10 years. People can take urban trains from here to other parts of the city for work and travel and we find many passenger-friendly designs. The new cars, they are improving the accessibility and the, and the re relationship with passengers who ride bikes and not the casual rider who sits and keeps quiet. And I think it, it is very nice. If you want to go to ride your bike uh, nearby the river, yes. uh, people want to, to take with us, with them, the, the bicycle, so... Um, yes. This is pretty convenient. The 700 trains on the line link people to various places. We are over here, we have this place that is called the horse racing places. Here also we have some football clubs that we have the stadium from River Plate that is very famous. And we also have the many, many museums from an ex-president from us, it's called Sarmiento President. And we also have many different places around here like like they are cultural places and also of course our religion i'm very happy to work with chinese companies because uh, all our team is very dedicated and they are always working really hard to make this train to operate very safely argentina is extending its railway network to remote areas with the aim of balancing infrastructure construction and environmental protection this is Jujuy province in the most northwestern part of Argentina. A 42 kilometer long railway line is being constructed here. And trains from China with lithium battery will be running along this line by the end of this year. In Argentina, the period from November to February is a peak tourist season. And in Jujuy, there is a world heritage, Humaraca scenic area, which is famous for its local culture and beautiful scenery. On this line, passengers will be able to travel at a speed of up to 70 km per hour 
to get to tourist attractions in an environmentally friendly way. We met project leader Pablo Civera. The idea of using pure battery powertrains was put forward by our governor at the very beginning, but some European companies we contacted at that time said they could not do that. The only company that accepted our idea and brought a plan for us is CRRC. They participated and pushed forward the project and made us surprised. They also made hard efforts to deliver a type of train that's really advanced in the world. The light rail project was signed in May 2022. And in October the same year, the train's design was completed, and the manufacturing began. Its appearance and color can blend with the local geographical features, and for the first time, the trains will be powered by lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which are known for their long lifespan and safety. Hubei Province is rich in lithium, and Chinese companies have helped construction of the solar power station in the region. So in this way, the railway line and new energy trains are a symbol of the green and low carbon driven strategy for economic development. What CRRC does goes far beyond our expectation. The trains for this project are really important for us. My team and I also went several times to China for their manufacturing, and the trains after assembly are impressive. What CRRC did for this is far more than what they promised and what we expect. The first new energy trains were shipped from China in September this year. Testing will begin once they arrive in Huhui. We just bought two trains, but we are going to buy at least five more because when this is just the first step of the whole project, we are just in the beginning. We have to make this train works that we hope that we have working on at the end of this year, and we have to keep going. We have to keep going to Bolivia. This line takes us to Bolivia yes. and to the other line. And to the other side on the line, it goes to Buenos Aires. The local developers say they believe this project will enhance quality of life in the region. They say they value the friendship with Chinese companies like CRRC in sharing knowledge, technologies, and aspiration for a better life. If I may say so, we have also built friendship through this project for. Huhui Province, for Argentina and for China. At the same time, we are also looking to the future and pushing forward new projects, which I think CRRC will be very interested in. And I believe there will be more opportunities for cooperation between CRRC and Huhui Province in the future. On my journey across Argentina, there are certain to be more stories of cooperation, as well as the impact it's having on local communities. From the cities and towns to remote areas, Zheng Yibing, CDTN in Argentina.